neighbors, welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. It is I, Jerry Ellen, and today I got you covered for dessert. You're going to love this recipe. Uh, it's a great one for the fall, pumpkin season, uh, Thanksgiving for the for Americans, or any time dessert because it's so good. It is a no-bake pie, bi-layer pumpkin pie. It is from a Canadian cookbook that actually I am getting this cookbook tomorrow but I know the recipe so I want to share it and uh yeah so anyway let's just get started okay till you stay on that's my daughter over there so I'm just making graham cracker crust so that's one cup and one fourth so one and one fourth cup of graham cracker crumbs and to this add one third cup of melted butter and you're also going to need to add two tablespoons of sugar and give it all a good mix and press it into uh, the bottom and up the sides of a nine inch round uh, pie plate. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for a second while I mix up the other stuff. And okay, now we're doing a layer here. Uh, we need four ounces of cream cheese or 125 grams, okay? And it's softened. Add a tablespoon of milk to this and a tablespoon of granulated sugar. Hey, <laughs> not cute. Probably work better with the mixer. I have a liter of, for the whole recipe, I'll probably use this, the whole thing. It's a liter, so that's 4.2 cups, okay, of Cool Whip. To my cream cheese and my milk, I'm gonna add one and a half cups, 325 mils, and it's thawed. Tell you why I'm using the scale in a second. I need um, vanilla pudding mix. You can get two packages of four servings because you need eight servings for this. But I have two that are six servings, 153 grams for six servings. So I got to measure out another two uh, servings. So I took that and I divided it by six, zero my scale, and I gotta add another, I gotta add 50 more grams to get my other two servings. So in short, I need eight servings of instant vanilla pudding mix. 15 on the nose. Okay, I'm gonna save this because I got another recipe that I'm gonna use this for. I don't need the scale now. One cup of milk. I got this can of uh, pumpkin without spices, uh, pumpkin uh, pure, pumpkin. Uh, it's 398 mils, uh, say, uh, like 14 ounces, okay? Add some spices to this now teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger, and ground clove, a fourth of a teaspoon. Mix it really well. Spices probably would be good to mix in with the pudding. Because now I really have to make sure this has worked well to have the spices throughout. This is such a tasty pie. I guarantee for you all, tastiness. And 
Now, probably gonna want a few cups for the rest of this container of Cool Whip. Show you. You can sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon. cinnamon on top, but I got some pumpkin pie spice. Or you could just leave it. I have to mess with things. It takes several hours in the fridge to set up so that the butter gets cold again in the crust so it's easier to cut. And the uh, cream cheese uh, gets time to firm up and stuff again. And this evening, we'll come back and uh, let you see this. Goodness me, this is so good. The first slice doesn't come out that great. And uh, after a bit, it was able to cut a lot easier and cleaner. But anyway, it is so freaking tasty. I hope that you guys give it a try. I got some squares and other pies in mind that I hope to get out to you soon. And I got some uh, beautiful, delicious treats. And I got some main dishes and sides and casseroles. And I hope that you like and share and subscribe and come back and, you know, all that fun stuff. Because I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all you. I love you all. Peace, love, and God bless. And like I say, please come back again. Take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Heaven.